Hi, my name is Martin and I have the pleasure of inviting you to our last session, to our last recording on the series called The Vineyard, extracted from the book of Solomon, or the Songs of Solomon, sorry, chapter 1 and verse 6. So if you're just joining us, it will be well for you if you're able to read through Solomon chapter 1 verse 6. But let me read it for you. It says, Do not stare at me because I'm dark, because I'm darkened by the sun. My mother's sons were angry with me and made me take care of the vineyards. My own vineyard I had to neglect. So they made you, they made him, they made her work, take care of their, their vineyards. The vineyards, talking about plural, many vineyards, while you neglect your vineyard your vineyard you see let me say that life is about you first life is about you first if you can get it together as an individual then there's hope for the next relationship there's hope for the relationship you're going to be in if as an individual you're lost if you as an individual you're like like sheep without a shepherd, you're loitering, you are aimless, you have no focus, you have no dream, you have no vision, you have no you know, progress, guess what? We cannot talk of any relationship succeeding. So life is about you first. And so the last the last session is about how can you begin to work or take care of your vineyard. The word used there is taking care. Taking care means it's not casual being available. It's not physical presence. Let me mention. It means emotional, mental, and spiritual presence as well as the physical presence. So taking care of your vineyard means being available emotionally. Spending emotional energy to meet people's needs to serve people, to solve people's problems. It is being available mentally. It's spending your mental energy to identify, meet, and satisfy the needs of people, solve problems of people mentally. It's also spiritual availability. It's about spending your spiritual energy to meet to the needs, to solve people's problems, to be available for people, to be an inspirational source for people, for other people. That's what taking care of your vineyard is all about. Let me also share some three, I'm actually five points. Taking care of your vineyard, working on your vineyard is a product of the following things, the following actions you need to take immediately. Number one, identify your purpose. What is your purpose? Purpose is a reason for which you exist, is a reason why you are created, is a reason the way you look at things, the way you look at things, it is your purpose. So what is your purpose? Identify your purpose. When you don't have an answer to that question, what is your purpose? You walk in life aimlessly, and then you're open to distraction, you're open to people dissuading you here and there, you're, you're available and people will misuse you people will abuse you because you don't have a purpose you're not conscious of a purpose so the first question i want you to answer is what is your purpose identify your purpose the second thing is identify your potential potential is the abilities is the skills is the natural endowment is the spiritual endowment is those abilities you've been given through which you're able to articulate, through which you're able to execute, through which you're able to carry out your purpose, to carry out your vision, to be of use to the people. It is about your potential. So what is your potential? What are those gifts? List them down. List, list your talents down. They form this part of your, of your potential. Then thirdly, identify the people. You're not called to influence, to affect positively every 
person on earth. No, there's a target. There are specific people. There's a specific tribe you've been created to reach out. Those are the people who will receive you because they have needs which your gift can meet. They have problems which your gift can solve. So identify your people. You're not called to entertain everyone. You're not called to be available for everyone. You're called to be available to one person, to two persons, to three persons. But when you're available to those few who are your people, then the influence you cause is beyond words. And lastly, identify your place. There is a specific location. When you are in that location, you thrive first. There is more grace. Some, something happens in your life when you are in your right place, in your right location. You serve people with ease. You serve people with happiness. You serve people with passion because you are in your right place. So identify your right place, your physical location. Where are you supposed to be? If you are meant to be in Mombasa and you are in Nairobi, guess what? You are not going to be influential. You are not going to serve people. And you are likely also to feel you know, not appreciated and you are likely to be frustrated because of that. So identify your place. Then lastly but not least, start anyhow. Start, 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 start being productive in your vineyard. It's a, in a vineyard, it's about productivity, nothing else. It's about being productive. It's about meeting one person, inspiring them, encouraging them. You know, one, one thing I've loved about myself is that I'm not so much outgoing. But I'm that sweet person. When you meet, when we meet one on one, you'll never want to leave. You'll never want to go. Because my presence is captivating. I'm so magnetic. And I inspire hope. Anyone who is around me, you'll find the way they are so at ease. They want to express themselves. They want to talk to me. Because that's who I am. It's about productivity. So start in Howley. And that's how you will begin to see your complexion, the right complexion, come back. You will receive favor, you will receive attention, glory. You look beautiful than you've ever looked before. Why? Because finally, you're in your vineyard. Finally, you're spending your emotional, mental, and spiritual energy to attend to people's needs, to serve people. That's all what you are here on earth to do thank you and let me get to know how did you like this series what do you think i can add what questions do you have i'll be glad to attend to them thank you and god bless you